This is my kind of weapon. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Coach. This is Coach Paintball. It's a new YouTube channel. I'm just starting up. Really hope you guys like it. I'm going to start by making an awesome gear video for you guys. Got a lot of cool stuff to show off. And eventually, then you'll know what I use every time I go out. And I'll start posting some action gameplay, highlights of the weekend, all that sorts of cool stuff. So, let's get this thing going. Don't want to make this long. Start showing you the awesome gear I got. Yes, the masks are most important. You don't want to be losing an eye, getting knocked out, all sorts of bad things can happen if you don't have a good mask. So, first thing, if you ever buy paintball equipment, you got to get a good mask. So, here's what I got. I have a dye I4. It's a lime green tiger. It was uh, maybe about 120. This is a really great mask. Nice and light. Sits a little low on the on the forehead, so it leaves a little... You make sure you wear a hat or something if, you, uh, if you're going to get one of these. Second is a V-Force Grills. This was a little bit cheaper, but this thing is awesome. I love the tinted lens. Really uh, deflects a lot of the sunlight, so you don't have to worry about really bright glares or anything coming from playing in the forest. You see sunlight sneaking through trees and stuff like that. Love the camo on it. But now, we're going to go to the helmet, which top is uh, attached with my GoPro. That's how I'm going to be filming all my cool stuff. This is just a $25 Airsoft replica helmet. Fits great with almost any mask. This thing just clips right underneath your chin. And if you see, I got my GoPro mounted. I used this, the curved uh, helmet mount. And I had to file away a little bit of the uh, of the, the night vision goggle mount. I didn't want to waste the extra money buying the night vision goggle mount. So I just bought a couple little arms. Got the nice GoPro. It's a GoPro Hero 2. Awesome camera. Got a couple batteries. Make sure I last all day. But that's my setup. You might think that the GoPro gets in the way of my eyes, but it really doesn't if you look. It's just in the dead spot of what I'm seeing. So I can't really see the camera, but it gets as close to a first person view as I can possibly get. Now that we got the helmet out of the way, let's get to the guns. Here she is, my baby. My Milsig MK3 CQB Pro. I've got a, a front grip, just a couple fingers. You grab your hand right in nice and tight. A little rail riser for my, uh, my red dot sight. It is an enclosed one. It's not an open sight. The enclosed, I like a little bit better. Protects the, the sight a little bit more. It can take a hit. Still keep going. This is mag fed. Holds about 18 paintballs per mag. This is awesome. Next, we've got an in, -tank, or a in stock tank. This holds about maybe 10 mags worth of air. It's 3,000 PSI, uh, but I can get about good 10 mags in it. Do have to refill it quite a bit, but where I play, it's no problem at all. About a six and a half inch barrel. This is awesome. It is rifled, so it does keep it a lot straighter. Now the cool stuff with the sight on. Hope you guys can see this. Yep, you can. So this is pretty much zeroed in right at about 40 or 50 feet, which is generally the uh, the you know the contact range when you start getting into some of those close fights when you really just need a quick. All right, guys, right here, I need to line up my sight real fast. So this is perfect for it. Then if I drop it down a little bit more, that brings up the barrel. So if I line it up with that front sight, that shoots maybe about 30, 40 yards. So that's that's where I got my sights lined up at. That's how it pretty much, I can hit pretty much anything. I do want to say that before you get into mag fed, you have to make sure that you can play like that kind of a person with that gun. So you really can't be a spray and pray, run after people. You really got to pick your moments, be sneaky, sneak around someone, find the right shot, pick the moment to go take someone out. So if you're just starting out, you're a pretty new player, you want to get into MagFed, it just is awesome, really realistic, so it's a lot of fun. But take like, you know, go out with a rental, take a hopper full, don't take any extra pods or anything like that. Because then if you can get through a game with using less than a hopper or being very smart with your shots, then you know you might be ready to go buy a MagFed gun. There's nothing worse than going, switching completely over to MagFed and then not liking how to play and not ending up using that gun. So be smart before you go switching. So here we've got my backup. This is my Titman TPX or TIPX. It's a little newer. Um, this thing is fantastic. Holds about seven shots in the clip. There's the clip. We'll slide that out for you. Nice and easy. Loads in. I've got about five mags of this. This thing is an awesome backup weapon in case, you know, you get a break in your barrel, anything else like that. Super quick, and it, it also attaches to my vest, 
with this bad boy. This is a leg holster. So this thing clips onto my right hip. I'll show you that in a second. This thing clips onto my right hip. Gun slides into the side. This also holds a uh, little pouch for extra CO2. Uh, uh, 12 grams, which is slides right into the front there. And I've got an extra mag right on the top. So that's if I'm real emergency, really close quarters, pull this bad boy out, take him out, put it away, go back to my main gun. And here we've got my vest. As you see, coach on the back. Really important for communication. A lot of times you hear, hey you, there's someone over there. That doesn't really help. When they see your name, they see something, they know who to call, keeps everything more direct, more precise, more personal. You can figure out anything with a good team, good communication. So here we got my vest, got the nameplate. I've got a three plus four pod pouch. You know, I, I really don't need that, but I always keep at least one pod full, empty pod just to balance out the weight, um, or at least how it, how it sits on my back. I can take two pods if I need. I rarely ever have to reload it, so it's not that big of a deal. Also on the back here, we've got my dump pouch. This thing is awesome. When you're done with the mag, you don't want to be messing around with trying to get a mag back in a mag pouch. That's really difficult. Just drop it in the back of your pod, pull this, you're good to go. So we'll flip this bad boy over. I'll show you what I got on the front. This this vest was pretty cheap. It's an NC Star. Again, it's an Airsoft vest. You know, Airsoft, they, they get it with the mags, so it works perfectly for paintball. So here I've got, I have five extra mags along with the one in the gun. So with my five mags, I get roughly 120 shots. It's more than enough than that tank can shoot with my gun. So here I've got one, two, three on this side. One, two, three. And I've got one, two here, which are angled, which are really quick and easy to pull out and go. I've got a squeegee. You have to bring a squeegee out. you got to keep things out of your barrel if you want to be shooting straight. Also, I've got a little pouch up top, which I've got a pull-through squeegee. Pull this bad boy through to get all that big crap out of the way. Then you pull the nice fiber, or, uh, you know, soft one through, clean out the little things. Also in here, I've got my tool set, little multi-tool. It's got a Phillips and a uh, flat head in there, which is really nice to have. Also, the three wrenches that I need to be taking care of my gun. That's pretty much all I bring. I also bring a microfiber cloth out in the field. Not because for wiping, because that's cheating. That's bad. But when we play in certain games, we'll stay out away from the field, or away from like the chrono station where you can take your mask off. You have to keep your mask on in certain points. So by having a cloth out there, say I get shot in the face for one game, I can wipe it off when I'm dead, and then I can stay there ready to go for the second game without having to run all the way back, running all the way back to the field, just so I can play again for the next round. So that's why I've got that cloth out there. Also, it keeps the lenses on my uh, on my sight really clean from splatter. You know, playing in the woods really covers you with paint. So that's pretty much all I got in my vest. I've got this little belt which attaches to the uh, the leg holster. Slip that bad boy through, and we're good to go. Now we're going to go to the clothes. This is really important. you got to have some camouflage if you want to blend in with woods ball, scenario type play. Speed ball, you need your jerseys, you need your padding, you need that sort of thing. But I mostly do woods ball. So here's what I got. This is the t-shirt I generally wear. It's a little Nike thing. I got it from Dick's Sporting Goods. Really light in the summer. Not thick, not at all. Um, you know, I don't worry about padding because this is always worn underneath my vest, so I don't have to worry about any... You know, bad body shots. You know, you take them in the arm, that doesn't hurt as bad. So then, I go for pants. I wear sliders. You gotta wear some sliders, you know, for you guys. You gotta protect. You know, we all know what we gotta protect. But, so you gotta wear some sliders. Keep it safe. I don't wear a cup. I think it's too uncomfortable diving around, rolling, that sort of things. I've taken a couple in the, in the nether regions. It hurts, but you're good to go in a couple minutes, so you're fine. Next, got some camel pants. These are really cheap at Dick's Sporting Goods, too. Got a couple of side pockets, back pockets, little things good for 12 grams of the pistol. Uh, putting your barrel plug in. It's got a bu uh, button, so you button it down. Don't lose your barrel plug. You got to keep that thing in. Then we got some good boots. You need good shoes when you're playing paintball. High ankles. Protects you from rolling your ankles. Bad things can happen. We all know it in the woods. There's sticks, there's rocks. You can roll an ankle really easy. If you can't afford high boots, or good winter boots like these. These are my winter boots. I just clean them off for the winter. But if you can't afford that, get a pair of ankle braces. Please, you don't want to break an ankle, roll an ankle, do anything bad. You know, you got to have something that protects your ankles. 
Next, I got some gloves. We all know finger hits hurt. I just cut the tips off. These were real cheap, about five bucks. Um, just nice little mechanic. It's got some good knuckle padding. I cut them off because I like to be able to feel the gun, feel the trigger, uh, reload the mags easier. These are called forearm shivers. These are used for football. Uh, I wear these on my forearms, and I pull them up just over my elbow. Keeps, you know, rocks and sticks out of my elbows when I'm diving around. You can wear a hat, wear a helmet, uh, do whatever you got to do. This is an old $5 hat that I just spray painted, you know, use some duct tape, make it look cool. Uh, that I don't really use anymore because I have a helmet. This was also pretty cheap too. Little camouflage helmet. Do whatever you got to do. I wear a helmet now so I don't use those hats anymore. But do what you got to do. Keep yourself safe. Stay camouflaged. Dark colors or earthy colors always work. The, the best. last thing I want to show you guys is my awesome homemade pod filler or magazine filler. Whatever you got to do. So this is just a straight up laundry detergent bottle. That's all it is. So most laundry detergents either have a removable uh, nozzle here. Or, you know, just cut it out. Use some scissors. Use a knife. Be careful, obviously. Use a file. Get rid of the sharp edges so you don't pop any paintballs in there. But if you look, here's a pod. Look at that fit. So easy to fill up a pod. Super quick. Takes about two seconds. You're good to go. Now, here's something else I did that's pretty cool. So you take the top of the lid. I'll see a couple, little bit of duct tape in there. Take a PVC coupling. coupling. I think it's a quarter of an inch. Or it's a one and one and quarter I think but you just find the right fit um, it's got a little uh, little ridge in here if you can see it got a little ridge so that that pushes down on the neck which allows me to load paintballs um, so, I'm gonna pause the video come right back I'll set my camera up and I'll show you how to load all right cool. so here we go here's my mag it's already wound so I'm, all I'm gonna do is take it I put the, the the neck in the in the little ridge tip it upside down make sure I push down shake it when you shake it all the paintballs just drop right in i got 20 20 or uh, 18 paintballs loaded in here just like that it takes two seconds three seconds so much easier than loading in each paintball one by one holding down the neck dropping the paintball in super quick really cheap cost me about five bucks to make this thing so check it out especially if you do mag fed paintball you've seen my gear you've seen the guns i hope you guys liked it as much as i do let's have a great summer of paintballing bring out a friend Take your dad out, go for Memorial Day, go for Father's Day, do whatever, spread the sport. Let's have a lot of fun with this. Please hit the like button, subscribe down below. I'd love to see this channel growing and get everywhere. Now, get out of here.